welcome to day two of Tomorrowland. You are now on part two of this video. In this video, we're gonna be exploring day two and three. We have done some really cool things so far and I cannot wait to show you guys. If you didn't watch part one, we go over what the gathering was, kind of getting here, and then also the day one of the festival. So make sure to click on that if you haven't, and I hope you enjoy. We have officially arrived to Dreamville, and to get inside of here, you do need to scan your band. There are two sections to Dreamville, and the first one that we're gonna be exploring is the general camping area. They really do have everything you need to make a home away from home. You can find a grocery store, bakery, which you will see very shortly, and so much more. All right, Chino got a sausage. What is this? Sausage roll. Sausage roll. Delicious. They are baking their breads fresh every single day for the people that are camping. You can come to the bakery and purchase your own thing. And yeah, they start baking at 2 a.m. So when you're leaving the festival, you can smell the new bread that is like being baked for the morning. We have arrived to Montagu, which is the glamping experience at Tomorrowland. Here you can find pods that have air conditioning and their own private bathroom. We have a pool, saunas, jacuzzis, and so many amenities that just really makes this feel like an elevated experience. Our first activity of the day was really cool. We headed over to Papillon Cocktail and Tea Experience. This had a speakeasy vibe to it as it was in Mesa Garden, but no one really knew it was there. In this experience, we got seven drinks. Some of them were cocktails and some of them were teas. Our first drink was some absinthe, which honestly, this is the best I have ever had. Our next drink was the floral tea experience. Here we got to taste tea that was sourced directly from small tea farmers and we had a mini tea ceremony. The next drink was the lychee and rose, which was a cocktail. This had an almond taste to it, but it was so, so good. One of the highlights of this experience was the matcha painting. So they got some matcha and then put simple syrup on it. We mixed it up and got to paint each other. For our next drink, we got to muddle some herbs. This was a combination of tea and liquor. So these herbs had a coca-cola flavor to them and that is what the soda was infused with then we had some roasted japanese tea and the last drink was outside in the garden where we drank out of a pepper this had mezcal in it i'm not really a fan of mezcal but the way that this drink was crafted was incredible the exit led us right into Mesa Garden again where you can find high-end food. So here you're going to get oysters, lobster. You even have Asia's best female chef with a stand here and you can try her food. to shut top.
officially day three, our last day here at Tomorrowland. We're currently at Montagu, which is like the luxury glamping experience. It is so nice here. They have a bunch of different pods that you can do. There's some over here with air conditioning and its own shower. You've got like regular tents, but this really is a glamping experience. We're here right now for a lunch. So it's a Sola Vida tasting where we're gonna get three courses and it's all gonna be paired with Tomorrowland's official wine that they create themselves. I can't wait to like try it out. It looks so good. We're in a pretty big group. It's kind of giving like picnic vibes and yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. We are in part two. If you haven't seen part one, make sure to go check that out. But we are going to be experiencing more of the festival and eating more great food. So make sure to stay till the end. Very savory. It's like a curry sauce on a butter cracker. Wow. My mouth is like, I'm like salivating right now. The Tomorrowland restaurant has always been on my bucket list, and this year, four Michelin star chefs curated the menu. About food, food, very important. The first appetizer, appetizer of this evening is a butterfly. Tomorrowland butterfly, butterfly, Tomorrowland expose. After the butterfly crisp, we had the elixir of life, which was a curry gazpacho, and in the next room, we were greeted with the mother's gift. This was a mousse of cauliflower touched with a hint of vodka. We were then taken upstairs, and the crazy thing about this is that the restaurant is overlooking main stage. After those three bites, we still had two starters, the main course, a palate cleanser, and then the dessert. So to add this on, it was only 75 euros, but it is very, very, very hard to get these reservations. Now, my voiceover does end here, but I'm still going to show you guys some stages that I have not yet shown you. way to say bye to Tomorrowland is by having a DJ at the airport. They had this last time I was here in 2019 and they had one again which I think is so cool. I am feeling exhausted. I've had a little less than four hours of sleep but this was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tune in to these other adventures that I will be bringing to YouTube. If you guys like short form content, I am on Instagram and TikTok. So again, thank you so much for watching. We are gonna be heading to Rome in one hour. So tune into that vlog, which will be out very soon.